forgotten scientist John Ray. John Ray was born on the 29th of November 1627 in a village called Black Notley in Essex. At the age of 16, he was sent to Cambridge University and studied at Trinity College. Once there, Ray took an interest in many different fields of work. He became a lecturer in both Greek and mathematics. However, his main ventures were in natural science. He published dozens of works during his time at Cambridge, which were filled with drawings and descriptions of different species of plants and animals alike. Ray actually coined the term species and gave perspective to the distinguishment of organisms. His student, Francis Wilby, accompanied him across England and Wales as they looked to classify organisms. This was something that hadn't been done before. This work was later instrumental to Linnaeus's binomial system. Ray was working on the categorization of bird beaks a century before Darwin did it in the Galapagos. He recorded thousands of species in his 23 published works. Ray was widely acknowledged in his lifetime. However, his name didn't stand the test of time, and this was for a couple of reasons. Firstly, he wrote in Latin, which even in the 1600s was outdated. On top of this, John Ray was quite a humble scientist. Compared to others at the time, such as Linnaeus, who called himself the Prince of Botany, he opted for a less grand approach. In fact, with every book he published, he apologized to the readers for putting them through the trouble of reading it. He even called one of his publications an inconsiderable trifle. After his death, in the year 1705, his work continued to affect the scientific sphere. Yet, many of his accomplishments and ideas were attributed to bigger names such as Linnaeus, who is today regarded as the father of taxonomy. This isn't to say that Carl Linnaeus tried to drown race achievements out. Not at all. But history hasn't left enough space for the name John Ray to be remembered as a great scientist who above anything else wanted to progress mankind's understanding of the world we live in.